Van, uh, you know the conventional wisdom, and you know that we should always take the conventional wisdom with a grain of thought. But if we were talking six weeks ago, it looked like a red wave. More recently, the generic ballot polling has narrowed between the parties, but we've also seen a handful of special elections which showed Democratic candidates outperforming uh, from, from as recently as 2020. Where do you read the midterms right now, Democrats' chances uh, and Republicans' chances? Coming into Labor Day weekend, you're starting to see the beginnings of what could be a blue wave. I mean, that you, I don't think people understand on the Democratic side how upset and how motivated Democrats are. There was a season of shame from the time that the Afghanistan exit was botched and this whole year of getting nothing done where Democrats had our heads held down. Now, because Biden has been so successful on his legislative agenda and Republicans have been so scary in what they're talking about, taking away women's right to vote, I mean, women's right to choose, attacking the vote. And then you have Donald Trump basically saying, if you come to Washington, D.C. and beat people up on my behalf, I would give you a pardon. That scares the crap out of people. And that's making people want to stand up and go vote. And so now you have the economy on the one side, which I think motivates um, the Republicans. But you have this sense of democracy under threat motivating Democrats. Biden was speaking for tens mm -hmm. of millions of people yesterday, uh, last night. And I think that you're going to see this clash now. It's not going to be a, 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 just a red wave. There's going to be a blue wave fighting mm -hmm. back.